it's 2020. This is my first stream of the new year, of the new decade. No one's here yet. Always takes like about 45 seconds for people to arrive. So hopefully I can start off well. Last turn I played on Mii Chess, I kind of collapsed at the end. Oh, my, my rating's still provisional? Wait, what? I thought I played enough classical games. Over 70 games. Maybe I haven't played in a while. Huh. I'm playing strong player. Let's play C5. Hey, it's people. <laughs> the first comment of 2020. It's actually the second comment. B Hall 138. The first comment was from Carry On My Way saying hi. But welcome, everyone. Good luck. Happy Bi first stream. Bicycle Aces years. Up. Thanks so much. Also, Bicycle Aces Up. I, I did see your, your message with the timestamps. Um, but I've been having trouble exporting the stream from the marathon tournament because it was. It was like a 13-hour stream. Um, let's play... I'll stick with my normal repertoire. I'll play Taimanov if, uh, if White plays Open Sicilian. Oh, no! Oof, lost his sub. Almost as bad as me losing my queen. That's okay. A new year, there's, there's always going to be ways to improve ourselves. Uh, let's take on d4. Um, now, I was about to say it, it's not a good idea to pre-move knight c6 because bishop g5 is a, a valid move. c3 also a valid move. So we're going to have a Smith Mora uh, accepted. Campus Ringling, thanks for subbing. Against Smith Mora, I like to play this, um, this queen c7 line. I'll play knight f6 here. Uh, the main line is queen e2. And now I'll play knight g4. A tricky move. This It's kind of hope chess. I'm hoping white allows this tactic. It's a very well-known trap. h3, knight t4. Just wins for black. Black would either win the queen or uh, or mate on h2. Um, so knight d4 is a, a major threat. My opponent's thinking, which probably means that maybe... Opponent isn't so well prepared. <laughs> I've already I had it maybe maybe a couple times. There was one stream towards the end of 2019. I had it a couple times. Um, yeah, we'll see how many times it happens this year. But okay, for now I'm just seeking a a normal checkmate. Sam, welcome back. Twenty plus ten. We are truly in the end times. Yeah, yeah, it's, this is long chess. This is slow chess. I'll have time to interact with the chat. Except if I interact with the chat too much, then people in the YouTube comments don't appreciate it because they want me to talk about the position. Um, <laughs> but my opponent's thinking so much here. And I do have to be careful what I say. I have to be cognizant that my opponent might be watching. But Lee Chess, is Lee Chess detecting my stream? Usually it would say I'm streaming. Let me refresh. Yeah, now it says I'm streaming. I wonder if opponent knows. Ooh. Oh man, my tea's so hot. You burned my mouth. Ah. Okay, I have to be patient with the tea. Hello to more people. Hello to Tagi, Litsku. Litsku, happy new year. Litsku. I have I have a special surprise. Um but I'm not gonna say it. I'll I'll let people discover it. Uh we'll, we'll see who who's the first person to discover it. Rook D1. So I was gonna say Rook D1. So hold, holding off on saying this. But Rook D1 is uh an inaccuracy because of this move bishop c5. And f2 is actually a major target. Um, and already black is much better. If rook f1, I have the same knight d4 tactic. Hey, okay. <laughs> people found the surprise in the chat. If people are watching in the future on YouTube, then 
they'll probably have no idea what I'm referring to. So I'll, I'll share. I'll share what the chat looks like. We have the new, newly designed Tagi emote. I was up until, no, I was up. When was I awake? I was awake at like 3 a.m. this morning, and I had nothing to do, so I designed a, a Tagi 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 emote. Seemed like the world was in need of a, a Tagi emote. Strategy, S Y D. Thanks for subbing. So yeah, life is very good right now. Um, ooh, 95. 95, surprising. Okay, life is getting more complicated. This is maybe uh, a more accurate portrayal of what, what life is like. What to do? 95, whoa, it's Tagi with 1,000 bits. <laughs> okay. All right, I, I I actually kind of have to focus here because knight d5. I mean knight d5, very typical Smith Mora move. Um, but like free piece. Pawn takes d5. White's trying to attack me. I'm trying to attack White. Thinking just takes pawn takes. Okay, check and my knights hit, and then knight. I mean ninety seven. 97, I'm still hitting F2, getting ready to castle. Rookie one, just bishop takes F2. I mean, I have time to think. I'm just, I'm really just making sure I'm not missing anything. I'm just, I'm trying to imagine what I could be missing here. After takes, takes 97. I mean, my knight is loose and my king is still on the E file. But everything's defended, I'm attacking F2. It's the type of situation like you just wanna You wanna be hyper aware of the opponent's ideas. Bishop G5. Bishop G5 is a move. Then even F6, like takes takes here. Bishop G5, F6. Because maybe black can do something. I don't really believe it though. Or maybe white can do something. Let's take. 97. Yeah, hello to more people. There's always more people to say hello to. Ah, oh, too many names. It, it can be overwhelming. Chess on Earth, welcome back. Hudson Viking, welcome back. Stockfish, XI Sparks. Why not bishop takes f2 first? If I were to do this first, that's a good question, because I didn't really even consider it. It is a check. I think there's a few problems with it. Um, I mean, maybe queen takes f2 is possible, because white is still threatening the queen. Um, but even something like king h1, and then if I were to take on d5, white takes back. And white's threatening h3 in, in many lines. And the, the pieces are a bit awkward. So I'm already up a piece. Yeah, I was expecting this move. Um, so white's trying to prevent me from castling. Okay, time to think. One, hey, 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 Tagi's number one. Yeah, the, the whole leaderboard reset. Um, I forget. I should have taken note who finished on top last month. It was a, a wild race, but um, yeah, I, I probably can look it up. Anyway, um, okay, I have to be very careful taking on F2 now because White could be mating me. YouTube people love the stockfish video. <laughs> you should play hey. stockfish again, Ah, uh, yeah. I think th they love the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, the video was, uh, I don't know, it was slightly tragic for me, but people take my pleasure, or take pleasure in, in me getting forked, I guess. Uh, F6? So with F6, I, I induce the bishop back. I, I would really want a castle, but then D6. I mean, D6 is possible here, defending. This is also maybe, maybe too risky, I don't know. 
it's it's actually weird. There's this funny line. Knight takes f2, bishop takes e7. Um, knight takes d1, discover check. But then bishop takes c5, discover check. So a discover check met with discover check. And then I would actually be in trouble because I have no good way to block. And I'm probably just getting mated there. So let's not do that. I mean, there's this move. Knight takes f2, takes, and then knight e4, but then takes, and then it's a pin. Oh, but then I check. It just seems like a mess that I don't want to deal with. I'm up a piece. How to make things simple. Considering castling here. Castling might make a lot of sense. Because after takes, takes, takes. I have queen takes e4. So the bishop's a bit loose. Um, I do leave my knight kind of hanging temporarily. So maybe there's other moves. Like there's d6. But then takes... Oh, and then rook takes? Again, it's a mess. I might just have to, like, power my way through the mess. I mean, in all these lines, I should be better, because I'm up a piece. But um, I'd rather have a, a clear path towards uh, the advantage. Castling in d6, interesting. And maybe this is a move. Bishop takes f2. Oh, but then the king just moves. The bishop's still defended. Hmm. Castling in d6. I mean, I'm I'm drawn back to f6 because this there's actually a, an idea here, a consolidation idea. F6, bishop h4, and then d6. So I I try and like restrict both bishops. And bishop g3 doesn't hurt me. Um, I guess rook e1 would be most likely. And then there's knight e5. I guess knight takes e5. Pawn takes e5. I'm up a piece. Queen h5, g6. You can even castle queenside in some lines. I think f6 is the way to go. I'm not going to mess with f2 pawn. It's like unnecessary bait. Taking on f2 is like taking candy from a stranger. Okay, let's play f6. I feel like Ben Feingold would argue that f6 is like taking candy from a stranger. Or giving candy to... I don't know. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's myself reborn for 2020. I don't know how much has changed so far. But, um, yeah... I wanted to stream earlier, but wasn't feeling well like the last few days. But now I'm, I'm more alive. Okay, d6 time. D6. And there's bishop b5. But even like king f8. And king f8 could be safe. Yeah. Ah, rook c1 could be a move. Big hangover. Uh, more like just sleep, um, getting back on a normal sleep schedule. I feel like I'm still hungover from the, the winter marathon. It was a rough tournament. Okay, let's do, let's do this. I was just like a little bit worried of, of this pressure. But um, I don't think it's anything too concerning. Like even if we imagine like rook c1 castling, b4, bishop takes b4. 
There's no great discoveries. Mmm, yeah, it's been a while. Feels like it's been forever. Soaking wet sigh, welcome back. So many returning names. So many new names. A lot of names I just... I don't remember seeing before. Like, what is this name? Syme on Demetrius. Bishop d6 looks better, says the new name. Um, yeah, Bishop d6 was a move. Um, which maybe I should have played. I guess it would invite rook c1. Or even this move. Yeah, I probably should have considered bishop d6, but I'm too late now. I was here last at Haha. <laughs> last at Kate. I think I know what you mean. Kingston, thanks for the bits. John, ghost, John, ghost. Welcome. Did I say that right? I think I said that right. And AJH, thanks people for subbing. And a lot of new subs to start the decade. Okay, opponent thinking. That's a good sign. I guess one of the issues with bishop d6 is it would make this bishop a bit more sad. Um, now the bishop's happier. It wants to develop at some point. Yeah, yeah, d6 is a move. It would it would open basically the diagonal on the file, um, but I would take, and then yeah, the bishop would control the square. I'd probably slide over the king at some point. I'd also be attacking the pawn. Um, also, knight e five would come at some point. Um, maybe did I say did I refer to the bishop as him or he? I'm not sure. Okay, I think it's time to castle. Like B4... B4 shouldn't scare me. Another sub. Bracken Dawson, welcome back. I'm just trying to ensure... Is it, like, after I castle, the queen's tied down to the knight. And then white stirs up a little bit of initiative with B4 takes. Bishop moves somewhere. Um, but in general, I'll have queen d8, and that should be good enough, I think. I guess there's queen e4, queen e4 bishop f5. Oh, but then this hangs. Oh, wow. Wow, so white keeps initiative. Okay, so the calculation is castling, b4, takes bishop d3, threatening the queen and threatening queen e4 with double attack. Because um, I, I would want to play bishop c5 after bishop d3, but uh, I was thinking rook takes c5. Queen takes c5, I lose this thing. I guess I'm still up the exchange there. Well, maybe that's, that's a reasonable way to trade. Um, okay, one more time. Castling b4 takes, <coughs> takes bishop d3, bishop c5 takes... So if I take with a pawn, there's d6. Happy New Year, Eric. Hey, Happy New Year. R. Beasley, welcome back. Good to see you back. A seven-month sub. Oh, this line with d6 is actually... It's annoying, because takes and then takes. And I lose stuff. So, I have to think. I am going to spam this emote in all streams. <laughs> to go to <laughs> Yeah, have fun with that. It's Tagi's uh, new decade gift. Okay. I'm realizing I don't have to take on b4. I was thinking like it's so natural to take, but I could. So after castling b4, I just play bishop b6. And I, I give white the discovery, play queen d8, allow queen e4, and then the, the queen's not attacking a bishop, my bishop's safe. And then I play bishop f5. Okay, and if ever h3 and knight e5, 
and then blocks e file. It should be fun, fun and fine. Okay, let's castle. I think it's very important, especially in these situations where like you're up material, but the opponent has good pieces. You you just have to be aware of the opponent's threats and initiative. Hey. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I forget why. I, I marked January 7th as Tagi Day in my calendar, but I forget why. I, I guess it's four days early. Oh, XI Sparks waiting for Many his own emotes. Capo Greco, welcome back. Wow, for a year. So the thing with emotes, there, there's a limited number of slots, and I've maxed out the slots. So to have new slots, I either have to delete existing emotes or break some absurd number of subs. I think I need to break like 1,200 subs to get a new emote. Belgian novice, gifting subs, getting closer. The new subs. Ooh, new subs. A lot of, uh, lot of recognizable names. We have Sefer73, MSU105, Upendi, Chespe94, shout out to Chespe, the super mod, and Star KO. Welcome, new subs. Thanks, Belgian novice. Appreciate that. So many firsts to the new decade. That was the first sub gift uh, or sub, yeah, sub gift of the stream for 2020. And Steven is Daedalus for 10 months. So opponent thinking. The thing about classical chess is like these games can take a long time. Um, like I feel like I've been winning since move nine, but I'm just being extra careful um, and trying not to embarrass myself. So bishop d3. So white's threatening b4, a tricky idea. Uh, queen's still tied down. Hey, hell we're 007. That sounds nice. Um, okay, <laughs> let's stay focused. I'm thinking just queen d8. It's like the same line, except b4 wasn't played. And queen d8, I mean, what is white trying to do? Oh, there is, there's actually kind of an interesting line. I don't think it's too harmful. It's interesting though. I'm gonna play queen d8 and I'll try and explain. Um, White's idea b4. Okay, of course trying to decoy the bishop so queen e4 would be double attack. So let's say b4, bishop b6. Then there's nifty move rook takes c8, removing the guard from the knight to prepare queen e4 double attack. And I can't take with queen because it runs into this. But I think I can just take with rook. So b4 here takes, takes. And then after queen e4, I have, uh, I have f5. Oh, f5, I, I lose a knight though. Huh. Maybe I just allow queen takes h7 and play knight e5. Because white's sacking so much. I guess white has to decide if uh, it's actually worth going into. Um, and I don't think I really have a choice. Also, new subs. Windoof, color blindoof, gifting a sub to oops, mouse slip. <laughs> Thanks, windoof. Okay, I think I'm going to do this. Um, rook takes c8 might be coming, but I can't really stop it. And then I'll, I'll be up enough material to probably give something back and still hopefully be better. Like even very simple, oh, so many subs. <laughs> okay, let me, um, let me just explain. Rook takes c8, rook takes c8, queen e4, very simple knight g6. Um, cause queen takes e4, I'm still up the exchange and I can start trading. I have bishop. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, did I miss something? 
I may have miss, missed something. I forgot, rook takes c8, rook takes c8. There's queen e6 check. But again, I'm like, I, I would be still up to exchange. And maybe even I have this move. So knight d2, that's probably a good sign. Opponent moving backwards. But I feel like there's all these targets. Um, I mean, knight e5, I think, is most natural. I hit the bishop. I just want to trade. I think I could play this without too much thought. Yeah, this is kind of what I was envisioning, like, back when I played f6, was just having my pawn support the knight and block the e-file, hit the bishop. Life is good. Wyvern, your first Eric Rosen stream. Welcome. Welcome to Twitch. Yeah, if you're new here, say hi in the chat. Hopefully people will say hi back. And position is difficult, especially when you're down a piece for a little compensation. Like, white doesn't even have a pawn for the piece. This is a Smith Moore Gambit. It's more like a Smith Moore gift. Maybe afterwards I can show what White should have done in the opening. Because I've played the same line against Esserman. Esserman's very well prepared and so dangerous to play <laughs> this exact line against Esserman. Are you going to play the whole arena? Well, it's a five hour long tournament. Ooh, do I have this move? Because f pawn's pinned. There's no f3. If queen e4, I have f5. Hitting the, the queen, defending h7, and also going to win the rook the, the following move. I mean, there's knight f3. Um, but that would just lead to happiness. Let's play bishop g4. Ah. <laughs> Okay, see you soon, Taggy. Rob Rob, thanks for subbing. And Halvard, HF, also thanks for subbing. Hi, Eric Rosen, for all your content. And Soaking Wetside, gifted a sub. I miss so many things. Soaking, oh, Soaking Wetside, gifted a sub to Halvard. Appreciate all the love. Thanks so much. Oh, and these Taggy emotes are filling up the chat. Okay, um, yeah, so f5. Oh, I forgot it, it still kind of strengthens the bishop, but I don't think that matters. Yeah, f5. Yeah, very multi-purpose. Be winning more material. King's very safe. Knight's happy. Mm, knight g6 is... is quite appealing. Even, I mean, this is a move. So many moves. But if I take the rook, I could take the rook knight g6. Yeah, the, the point is not to win, like, quickly or, or even try and win the tournament. I'm just trying to, to play clean, a solid, hopefully instructive chess. Let's play knight g6. Actually, can I move this knight? This might even be stronger. And, and maybe even provoke the opponent to resign quicker. Oh. Um. Because after takes takes, we trade queens. I'm just up a full rook. And then otherwise, yeah. If the queen moves, then I win the bishop. Wouldn't be surprised if my opponent just resigns here. What is this name? Hedge Logolaz. Thanks for subbing. 
That's a new name. <laughs> Botez Gambit. It's not really a it's it's just a Botez Queen trade, if we can call it that. Both queens are hanging, but Okay, we're either trading or I'm winning more more material. But it's just completely winning. Kind of a feel good game. I feel like my opponent maybe walked into the opening without really knowing the, the line. Okay, let's take Ah. Uh, okay, the game continues. Um, I do have a pawn hanging, but I'm up a rook. Many things to do. Let's try and be clean. I'm thinking just going for the attack against f2. Knight e2 comes to mind. I mean, this is a move as well. Rook d8, very simple move. There should really be no need to think here. <laughs> but I'm thinking anyway. Yada yada. Let's play this move. Yeah, I mean if the pawn is taken, then the rook will come in. We'll probably end up trading a bit more. And d5 is weak. This is probably something I have to work on, is just like playing quicker and simple chess when I have the advantage. But uh, okay, getting the job done. Yeah, it, it is hard to keep up with the chat and like explain the game, but I see some very nice comments. Thanks everyone for the nice feedback. Um, I see some opening recommendations. Yeah, usually um, I am open to taking opening recommendations, but if you're going to suggest an opening, suggest it like as the next game is starting, because um, then it'll be easier to remember, easier to see too. Which chess streamers are you following? I make an effort to follow anyone who streams chess. Even, even people who are just starting, I find it interesting to see. Um, like how, how people approach chess streaming and of what creative ideas are being implemented. Um, yeah, I enjoy watching chess content. If you're a chess streamer and I'm not following you, <laughs> make yourself heard. Or send a raid. If you send a raid, that's sometimes the best way for me to, to realize who you are. And then I'll try and return the raid at some point. Uh, ooh, what is this? Uh, what is this? Stuff is happening. So many things are like attacking one another. I still want to take on f2. I mean, we could just trade. I think there's simple move takes and then takes. There's also, oh, there's knight e2. Knight e2 just wins a piece, another piece. Okay. I, mean, I thought the opponent was going to resign earlier. Maybe opponent will resign now. Peter Balkus, <laughs> just as I say that. Peter Balkus, thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. Uh, shout out Peter Balkus. If you guys don't know who Peter is, he's a very prolific chess streamer. Opponent resigns. That was a very nice omen raid. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, quickly show the opening. Um, especially for, I guess, the Sicilian players out there and the Smith Mora players out there. I guess there's something to learn from, from this variation. Um, this is my favorite variation to play against Smith Mora because most players will walk into this position and not know exactly what to do. And I was surprised my opponent didn't know what to do, given the, the rating. Um, but yeah, knight g4 is, is main line, and it's it looks ridiculous, like moving same piece twice away from the center. But it comes with a very powerful threat. And we can see the Lee Chess database. Um, 
Okay, it's not the most common move, but it's up there. H3 played 726 times is just losing a queen or getting mated. It was a very nice tactic. So we're, we're threatening maiden 2, taking with check and queen h2, and we're attacking the queen. And if it takes, it's just mate. Um, so I, I've had a good number of games. Actually, once in a tournament, and then probably a handful of times online that have gone down similar paths like this. Um, so the main move here is g3. I think the best move is knight b5. Knight b5? No, it's knight b5 here. Yeah, it's knight b5 here. Queen b8, and then e5. This is what Esserman played against me. And this is what white should do to try and keep the advantage. And black really has to be careful here. If black gets greedy and takes a pawn, uh, rook e1 is very, very painful. Because uh, queen's tied down to the, the forking square. And if queen b8, then very strong move, queen d4, hitting the, basically um, defending the f4 square, preparing bishop f4. And I remember Esserman won a game like this. Um, I think it was on chess.com. Um, at some point in, in time, I, I downloaded all of Esserman's chess.com Mora games and studied his secrets. And I remember a game d6, bishop f4. Oh, he has a few games on Lee Chess too. Master of Mayhem. e5, and then I think rook takes e5. Yeah. I'm sure this is in his book. Nasty trap. Literal trap of the queen. Um, so yeah, with e5, best move for black is to play knight g4. And then after bishop f4... Uh, there's kind of a weird line, a6, knight d6, takes, takes, and then castling. There's some nuances, like b5 runs into bishop d5. Um, castling. I played Esserman in this line. He played, I think he played h3? And then knight e5. Um, and then supposedly the best move is knight b4, and engine, I think engine is slightly confused. If anyone wants to learn this deeper, just buy Esserman's book. Whoa, it's Toggy. <laughs> I love the Toggy emote, Imrosen. Let's go Imrosen, Toggy. Thanks, Toggy. <laughs> Appreciate uh, your love for your emote, and thanks for the bits. Anyway, um, yeah, so my, my plan for this tournament was to put, like, each game on YouTube. I'm trying my best to make things instructive. I know they're kind of slow games, but hopefully some people learn something. Uh, so YouTube people watching in the future, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you have questions, leave a comment. And people in the comments are usually good at, at answering questions. And stay tuned for the next video. And thanks to Tagi again. All right, back to tournaments. One game down took a long time. I feel like I moved down in places. Whoa, it's Heart Wiser Noodle with 10,000 bits. Oh, maybe, maybe I should include that in the YouTube video too. Oh, man.